Hello friends, in this video I want to show you how to do a potassium test with this kit from Easy Life. Now, this is a simple test, but it considers a series of steps one has to go through. There's a many steps here. It gets a bit complicated and I think it's a good idea to put this test in a video so we can follow the, the procedure easily. As well, I have created a flash card that will help us go through this test. This kit brings two valves, a micro pipette and two refills. As in all tests, we must rinse the vial first with water from our query. In the YouTube video by Easy Life Potassium Test, there is a mistake you must not make. The water used for rinsing the vial must never go back into the aquarium sample, as the girl did there. It must be discarded somewhere else. If you put it back into a sample, you might cross-contaminate the sample. This might be a Dutch company, but this mistake, up since 2014, tells me the quality controls aren't very strict, so the product might not be very trustworthy. Now, we fill the bar with two milliliters of water from our aquarium. We add 10 drops from region 1 We shake it firmly for 30 seconds and we wait for 6 minutes Okay, six minutes have gone by, so we add ten drops of region two. We shake gently and wait for one minute. Meanwhile, we get a bit of cotton wool off here. And we press it firmly in the top of the valve. Not too firmly, so it picks up the most of the liquid as possible. Okay, one minute has gone by, so we put the cap on. And we put it sideways so that the liquid is absorbed as much as possible, is absorbed by the wool. And we take the cap off. And with the pipette, we squeeze the pipette with our fingers. First of all, we'll take the cap off the yellow bar to have it ready. We squeeze the pipette between our fingers. We put it on the wall. And we unsqueeze slowly, very slowly, so that it absorbs liquid and not air. If we do this too quickly, 
it will bring up more air than the liquid. Then we put the, the liquid in the other valve. And the amount of liquid we put in the valve has to be is defined by the height of this figure. The height of the liquid in the in the vial must be equivalent to that figure. We put a little bit more then. And that's about it. Hmm? With that amount of liquid in the vial, we must put it on the chart and compare the colors. And if we see, look carefully, we'll notice that it is not the second, but it is the first. Practically no color in the liquid. Practically white or transparent there. So the level of potassium in our water is 25 milligrams per liter or ppm. According to Easy Life, the recommended amount of potassium in our water for, to benefit the plants should be between 10 and 15 milligrams per litre. If it is below 5 milligrams per litre, we must add potassium for the plants. Potassium is rarely present in drinking water at high levels. Usually it is around 5 milligrams per litre. The use of water softeners might take that value to toxic levels for certain risk groups. If the amount of potassium is 25 milligrams per litre or more, that would be dangerous, harmful for the plants and of course also for our fish. So we must reduce the amount of potassium in the water. Juvenile African catfish aren't affected by high levels of potassium, up to 400 milligrams per litre in an aquaponic system. Well, that's the test of potassium with uh, Easy Life. I hope you liked this video and if you did please remember give it a thumbs up, share it, subscribe and thanks for watching. Bye bye.